guys just supply bartenders? We supply bartenders, barmaids if you want them, ice glasses, napkins, mixers. Booze. You supply, you save. You work the hospital job? Oh, I was there. Two waitresses and Rory, another bartender. Remember this guy? Yeah, Jim. No, Ed. Edward Oster. No, no, Jim. Green. The bourbon? That's what he drank. On the rocks. One every five minutes. I can smell it. Somebody gave her the wrong drugs. I don't know if it was Gunga Den or Oster, but one of them screwed the pooch. Mike, you look like you got a problem. All I know about hospitals is that my father is still walking today because he had a heart transplant in one seven years ago. I'm not saying all doctors are bad. You know, 99% of them are solid pros. It's the rotten 1% to quote our, our friend Oster that make it a lottery. You bet your life. Come on, Max. You ain't exactly a fan of the profession. I just want them held to the same standards that cops are when somebody gets shot or pilots when there's a crash. Yeah, and that's what bothers me. Listen, say I'm out with Maggie. We're having dinner. I have a few pops, OK? Mm, go on. I look out the window. I see someone getting mugged. I run out, pull my service revolver out of my sock. I yell, halt. Now, one of the muggers reaches into his pocket, takes something out, turns around. I blow him away. Yeah, but the something ain't a weapon. It's the victim's wallet. That is still a totally righteous shoot. Yeah, you know that. I know that. Internal affairs smells liquor on my breath. They crucify me. I got to tell you this. That's how this feels to me. Well, you know, there's a difference between a few pops and a bourbon every five minutes. Come on, the kid's exaggerating. Maybe he wasn't. No one said Oster looked or acted drunk. They smelled it on his breath. Now, you know looking and acting drunk don't mean squat. What are you guys talking about? Uh, back when Max and I were partners, I had a little bit of a drinking problem. Oh, well, finally, he told me that he wouldn't partner with me unless I went to AA. And? And I told him to mind his own freaking business. <laughs> I was under control. I knew what I was doing. I was just a social drinker. He made me so damn mad, I went out and I had a few social drinks. A couple hours later, I was standing in the middle of Lexington Avenue, not looking or acting drunk. But I had my gun pointed at a taxi driver because I didn't like the way he was honking his horn. That night, I went to my first meeting. And I've been uh, sober ever since. Get back to the hospital and uh, twist a few people, huh? I'm begging you, don't make me torpedo my career. We need a second witness. Hmm? Look, Oster forgets more every week than I know. I came to New York because of him. Do you know what it, do you know what it means to be able to say I studied under Dr. Edward Oster? He could destroy the rest of my career. What career? He was drunk. The girl had muscle pains. Doctor ordered me paradine, and the resident said something about phenylzine. I, I, I don't, I don't think he even heard. He took the paradine. He injected it himself. Oh, no one tried to stop him. What are we gonna do? Wrestle Doctor Edward Oster to the floor? I, I didn't even know he was wrong. You know now. 
Now we have to get approval from an executive assistant DA. Stone's the boss. What do you want me to do? This case is politically sensitive. Ooh. Gets tougher all the time, Mike. The Davids kid already made the turn once. Said flat out, Oster was drunk. I want to go in with more than a nervous resident. I don't know, the bartender says Oster drank like a fish at the party. If the resident testifies, there's a good chance we get the rest of the ER team to follow suit. Pack him up. See, we did a procedure called balloon angioplasty. Oh, but the pain. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think it'll come back. Look, I, I'm not saying that you can take up racquetball, <laughs> but you will be able to walk, climb stairs, and swim. Thank you. <laughs> Guess we won't need our guns. Edward Oster. We have a warrant for your arrest. Practicing medicine drunk. It's not prosecuted much. We're gonna have to find a First in his class at Harvard Medical School. Residency and fellowship in Mass Say General. Say hello to Philip Nevins, Dr. Oster's attorney. Author of the classic textbook in cardiology, winner of the Lasker Award for Medical Research, published 175 journal articles. Does he walk on water? The trash that you people usually prosecute can't murder fast enough to kill as many people as Edward Oster has saved. Now, I'm just trying to save you from a mistaken perspective. Failing to perceive a substantial and unjustified risk that might cause Suzanne Morton's death, criminally negligent homicide, consciously disregarding that substantial and unjustified risk, manslaughter too. See in court, Stone. <laughs>